ask you one last favor? Huh? The queen, Yannicka, she's doing something really important. So make sure you take good care of her, okay? I can't say for certain what might happen back at the castle, but when it's over, the people, her son, they'll need her. You understand that, right? <laughs> Fine. Yes, yes. Rink Rank understands. Yes. <laughs> good, good. All right. Thanks, Rink Rank. I guess I better get going now. <sighs> then if all goes well, Ben will be safe, and she won't need to stay there anymore. So you head back and wait for her. You got it? <laughs> You got it, I know. Thanks as always, Red Dragon. <sighs> right. Back to the flower girl thing then. I have the flowers now at least. But what else was there? Well, now I have... I have everything actually. Hey, I can get into the wedding now. Alright, okay. <sighs> this is it. Time to go get Ben and prepare ourselves. Alright, there. I'm all changed now, Ben. Oh, wow. Look at you. You look beautiful, Anna. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Hopefully the butler feels the same. So, we head to the hall. I pretend you're pulling me along. And I tell him you're a wedding present. Yeah, got it. Hmm. Well, with my clothes, at least I'll kind of look like me. <laughs> More so than a naked teddy bear. This is it, huh? You'll be okay, Ben. Just stay close to me, alright? This isn't going to be easy, but it has to work. It just has to. Those bells, what does that mean? Oh, I remember them. They always did that when... <laughs> when was it? Oh, yes! They rang them whenever a royal procession had started. You mean like a wedding? Yeah, exactly. Oh! Oh! And they've already started! There's no time to waste! Quickly, to the throne room! Dearly beloved, we gathered here today to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Not to be entered into lightly, holy matrimony. Yes, yes, get on with it. Uh, uh... <clears throat> Yes, well, if any person here can show why these two people should not be joined in holy matrimony... I do! Winfrieda is tricking you, all of you. And here is Prince Bernard to prove it. This is absurd. The crazed girl intends to pass all the stuff bear as our beloved prince. Please, just wait. Guards, seize this criminal at once. No. Guards, stand down. I am your true queen and you will do no such thing. Listen and listen well. This woman has indeed deceived you all. Because of her, I was forced to flee for my safety. But it is time to put an end to this. No. She is a liar, a trickster, a witch of evil, selfish intention, and above all, from as far back as her childhood. No! No! A murderer. <laughs> no! Winfrieda? Winfrieda. 
Winfrieda! Ah! Oh! Jeez, you scared me. Are you even listening? Yes, Mother. Winfrieda, you know as long as we are within these walls, you do not refer to me that way. You refer to me as your teacher, Mrs. Vogt. Yes, Mrs. Vogt. Listen to me. The Wanderer will come to pass the decisions of the Norns any day now. Your witchcraft studies are still far from where they need to be, and yet you continue to disobey me. All day you disrupt and fall behind the others. Are you not concerned about your future? But that's my point. It doesn't concern me. You never listen to me. I have. Over and over I listen. There are more pressing matters at hand right now. But the scientific evidence me and Hans have found shows that... Enough. I am in no mood to listen to your science prattle, Winfrieda. You need to take this more seriously. This is the rest of your life we're talking about. Well, I don't want to spend the rest of my life being what you want me to be. You know very well that word is more than just your choice of career, Winfrieda. If you continue to ignore even the basics of the school oath, then you aren't going anywhere. That's unfair! All the other kids got to go play. All the other children didn't talk back or argue with me during class. <clears throat> Since you seem to have forgotten why you're at this school, we'll stay until you show me you remember. If you don't remember, then consult your notes, Winfrieda. That's what they're there for. This is so unfair. Stupid school and it's stupid weird. <clears throat> Fine. I'll just get this over and done with so I can leave already. The amount of times I've had to take that darn thing outside and whack the chalk out of it. Unless Mother makes me, I'm not touching that wretched thing. Just some plain old white crumbly chalk. The more of this I sneak from Mother, the less lines I have to write in detention. This thing is great when it's cold, makes the room super toasty and warm. I love this stuff. You can start fires with it, and write with it, and start fires with it. Like everything else, though, Mother doesn't like me taking it. Surprise, surprise. But Mother doesn't know can't hurt her. What don't I know about? Oh, nothing, Mother. I, I mean, Mrs. Folk. Right. Please don't do anything reckless with the heater, Winfrieda. Who, me? Never. Hmm... The thing. You know, the thing that sucks up air and blows it back out. It's where the boring lessons are written up on our boring class about boring spells. Not so sure I'd get very far trying to use a chalkboard with my hands. That's Jacob and precious little Yannicka's desk. Of course, she's front of the class. And of course, Jacob followed her there. That's Jacob and Pr Mother will just get more angry, though, if I copy off their work. Mother's spell book. The spell book. I've had a peek in it before, and oh boy, sure makes class spells look like child's play. That's because the class spells are child's play. You're children, after all. Oh, I wish. No way am I going to get that without help, though. The alphabet. As if I didn't learn that already when I was little. I'll leave the posters be. Yoringel or Wilhelm might still need them. Jacob's self-portrait. Acting the tough guy even on paper. No, Mother seems to think they make the room look friendly or whatever. Huh. <sighs> Perfect little Yannicka. She can't help herself. All surrounded by stars, even in a drawing. She thinks she's the center of the universe. Winfrieda, really, be nice to your sister. That one is Hans' self-portrait. I like his, too. Nice and simple. No showing off. Unlike some people. Of course, Wilhelm has some cool dude sunglasses and jacket. Truth is, he owns neither. Clearly the best one there. Got all the coloring in the lines and everything. Of course it's placed in the furthest corner. Thanks, Mother. Yorinda's self-portrait. 
Yeah, that's pretty much her. Always pretty, happy, and kind. Even though no one's that friendly to her. Should have known. Your ringle self-portrait. What a mess. No need to be mean, Winfrieda. It's true, though. Look at it. Wasn't even trying. Yeah, that's the family. When father was still with us. What good is a picture anyway? He's gone. And he's not coming back. It is of great importance, Winfrieda, to keep their spirits close, lest we find ourselves alone. Yeah, yeah. Sentimental nonsense, if you ask me. What would I want with some stupid family picture anyway? I see enough of them in school as it is. My desk! Furthest away from the teacher, just the way I like it. Too bad I have to share it with Wilhelm. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Blah, 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 weird. Blah, blah, destiny. Blah, blah. All right, I think I got it well enough. Let's just spout this off to Mother and get out of here. I'm not taking any of the work with me. I have to see it enough in class as it is. That's where Hans and Yorinda sit. Hans used to sit with me, but Mother moved him when we talked too much. <laughs> That's where Hans and Yorinda sit. Mother will just get... The outside world. Freedom. So near, yet so far. Don't be so dramatic. Just recite your work like I asked, please. It's a stupid apple that teacher's pet Yannicka brought for mother. Just like she always does. I don't need anything from Yannicka. Mother can keep it. It opens the shed by the school with all the neat gardening stuff inside. Not that anyone uses it much since... since father didn't come back. Don't even think about it, Winfrieda. Hmm... It's water, but with bags of leaves dunked into it. It's like a gross leaf drink. It's only ever gross if you let it go cold. More like because it's got gross leaves dunked into it. Yeah. And drink leaf water? No, thank you. Hey, Mother. Winfrieda, really? All right. All right. I think I'm ready now. Very well. Go ahead. Tell me what word is. <clears throat> Weird is the pattern that shapes our destinies, influenced in many ways, in part by the weave of the Norns, three great maidens who look upon us all and determine our futures, but also by everything we do. Everything our ancestors did. Causality and consequence. It is what will happen, is happening, and what has already happened. Very good. Now recite the Vogt School of Witchcraft's oath for me. But mother... <sighs> By the weird we shall abide, and in respect treat each day justly, for every right a path warm and enlightened, for every wrong a path blackened and cold, and stay cautious of the devil, forever waiting to... to... um... And stay cautious of the devil, forever waiting to corrupt my resolve. Yeah, what you said. Listen to me, Winfrieda. This is what concerns me the most, as it should you. Oh, here we go. This science that you and Hans obsess with. Don't let your mind be distracted by what's not important. Mother! It's just because it's something you don't understand. You're being dramatic. I am not. I have seen what it will do to you. To your word. It is a dark, dark path, Winfrieda, that you must not take lightheartedly. If your father was here, you know he'd say the same. That's a lie. He was always happy to let me do my experiments. Unlike you. He wouldn't have been if it got in the way of your witchcraft, Winfrieda. Not if it let Yannicka get this far ahead of you in your studies. I've done what you asked. May I leave now? Yes. Yes, you may. Oh, but Winnie, if you see Hans, tell him to come see me to practice his test. As should you. The Wanderer will be here any day. The judgment he passes will play a crucial part in your word. Practice. Be ready for his test. It is for your own good. Fine, I will. 
Have we done the right thing, Philip? Putting the fate of the girls in the hands of someone else? <sighs> no. It is the way of word. I cannot waver. And the girls, we will see. Only time can tell now. Freedom! Finally! Now, Hans told me he had something he wanted to tell me, only... Everyone's here except for him. Where's he gone off to now? Folked, School of Witchcraft. Yeah, she's alright. She hasn't talked since the incident at the lake. Too bad some of the boys around here haven't had the same problem. Hey there, Yorinda. Still not saying much, huh? Between you and me, though, this thing with not talking, was it really from seeing the Vice of Frauen? I mean, they aren't real, right? Ugh, <sighs> never mind. About the amber orb, though, when you fell in the lake, you sure you didn't see the orb? Because I could be wrong, but I think even if you did see it, then you wouldn't tell me. Because like everyone else, you think it's too dangerous. Yeah, I bet I'm right. It's there, I'm sure of it. You seem kind of lonely over here. I could be wrong, but you seem to keep glancing at someone in the yard. Aha, I'm not wrong. Is it, is it a boy? You can tell me. Well, actually, no, I guess you can't, huh? Let me see. I bet it's, it's. Hmm. Ah, wait. You wouldn't be the kind to fall for the popular boys. So that must mean... Interesting, interesting. Oh well. See you, Yorinda. Yoringle isn't the friendliest kid around, so he's usually on his own. If he stopped yelling at all of us, he might actually make some friends. How's it going, Yoringle? Huh? You never talk to me. What do you want from me? Why are you over here on your own? What do you mean? I'm always on my own. Okay, then. Why are you always on your own? What do you care? You don't care about me. No one cares about me. Well, actually, I'm asking you because... Because you're a trickster. You just want to trick me. I know what you guys are like. Acting like my friend, just so you can take my stuff. But hey... I've never... No more! I won't fall for it! If no one cares about Yoringel, then I don't care for anyone either. From now on, Yoringel only cares about Yoringel. Okay, okay, jeez. Forget I asked. Enjoying those berries, I see. Very much so. And no, you can't have any. Fine. I was just making a joke. Yeah, right. You're just trying to trick me into giving you my lunch. You guys always teasing me. Trying to take my stuff? But I... Ugh. Whatever. See if I care. Yoringle, you dummy. Of course someone cares about you. If you weren't so busy scowling at everyone, you might actually notice her glancing at you. What do you mean? Who? No one's glancing at me. W when did they glance at me? Uh, like, all the time. Constantly. I... I don't believe you. You're just trying to trick me. Ugh. <sighs> Geez, you boys are hopeless. I don't care. There's only one person I want to look at me anyway. Oh? Uh, I, I mean... Uh, dang it! You better not tease me about it, Winnie. Why don't you go tell this person then? It's not easy, you know. I... I don't know good words to say is all. You don't know... good words? I never know what to say to her. I get all... twisted with my tongue. You better not tell anyone, Winnie. All right, all right, I won't. I'll leave you alone then. You happy now? Berry! Hmm. They're my berries. My berries. He always gets the best lunches. Those grapes look pretty delicious. Hey! I didn't say you could have some of my berries! Come on! You have like a million. So? They're my million grapes! Go get your own! 
These two brothers, all they care about is looking cool and impressing Yannicka. This one is the tough guy. If the yo-yo didn't make that obvious enough. Something tells me his trick still needs some work, though. Winnie, you've finished detention. Are you okay? I hope Mother wasn't too hard on you. I'm fine, Yannicka. It's just detention. Not that you'd know what that's like. I know you're a tough cookie, Winnie. I just think that, well, sometimes Mother is a bit hard on you is all. <laughs> she has to be, with the Wanderer coming and the grades she's getting. Ha, exactly. There's no way she'll ever beat you, Yannicka. It's not a competition, Wilhelm. There's only one way Winnie will ever get through the Wanderer's test. Diving into the lake and taking the Amber Orb from Vice Frauen. Don't even joke about that. You know what happened to poor Yorinda. Yeah, maybe Winnie could get some advice from her. If she ever talked again, that is. Yeah, well, maybe I will. Then I'd really show you guys. Winnie, no! The Weiss of Frauen, you don't know what they do. You can pass the test without a silly orb. I know you can. Weiss of Frauen, <laughs> only you guys would still believe in silly children's tales like that. I have a secret advantage anyway that will make me ten times better than Yannicka. But... But it's really not a competition. <laughs> yeah, right. Here comes the science babble. It's not babble. You'll see. I'll prove you all wrong and win the test. Come on, everyone. It's Friday. Let's just have fun. Wait a second. Not everyone is here. Where's Hans? Do you guys know where he went? He said he was going to the usual place. He seemed pretty excited. Yeah, their usual little lovebird hideout. It's not like that. Ugh. Not everyone is like you boys, spending all day dribbling and drooling all over precious you-know-who. Who-know-who? No, no one, Yannicka. one, Yannicka. I can never remember his stupid code for the hideout, though. I hope he's written it down somewhere. Precious little Yannicka. Always the one in Mother's Good Books. I'll show her she's not always the best. I'll show both of them. These two brothers, all they care about, this one's playing. He's been trying for years, and she still doesn't get it. Uh, hey, Yannicka. Hi, Winnie. What can I help you with? What did Hans say to you again? Oh, yes. What was it again? I wasn't really sure what he meant, but... He said he was going to the usual... Oh, that's right. I can never remember. I hope he's... Scared about the Wanderer's test? Well... I suppose I am a little nervous. Ha! Knew it! I'm not. I have a secret plan. Oh, it's not your ghoul spell again, is it, Winnie? Mother said you shouldn't use it because it drains too much energy from people, and... It's not the stupid ghoul spell. Oh. Well, that's good. I think I'll be okay, though. Mother helped me find my familiar spirit. She says it will protect me and help me. Familiar spirit? Yeah. Mother says the spirits are like... An extension of us. Separate, but always linked. You want to know what mine is? It's a bear. Right. A bear spirit to help you. You should find yours, Winnie. I'll help you if you like. No, no. I think I'll be all right without a pet ghost. Thanks. Uh, never mind. I'm leaving. Oh, okay, Winnie. See you later, then. Wilhelm, I need to ask you something. What's up, Wynn? Can I have a go? Uh, no. I don't want girl germs on my yo-yo, Winnie. Whatever. I saw you let Yannicka use it before. Yeah, well, Yannicka isn't a girl. She's a lady. Jeez. Give me a break. You seem to be struggling a bit there, huh? Yeah, well, you seem to be struggling with spells. So there. Wow. Harsh words. I just mean, aren't you getting a headache? It's called practice, Winnie. Haven't you heard of no pain, no gain? Wilhelm, without some kind of helmet, all you'll gain is brain damage. Wait, you saying you have a helmet? I'll let you use my yo-yo if you do. Huh? But wait, if you give me the yo-yo, then you won't need a... Ah, ah, that is to say, sure, I'll keep a lookout for you, okay? Cool, cool. Guess I'll leave it to you then. Good, you were ruining my concentration anyway. Hey, Jacob. <sighs> what now, Winnie? What's the deal with the flower? Is this some kind of fashion thing or... It, it's nothing. Yeah, sure, fashion. 
That's exactly what it is. Really? Because I don't know. It looks kind of ridiculous. <laughs> like you'd know anything about fashion. If that's fashion, then I'm glad I don't. Ah, forget it. Hey there, Yorinda. Oh well. The gardening shed. Father was always working in there when... when he was here. Mother said I'm never to go in there, so... there must be really cool stuff in there. These are the hidden buttons Hans uses for the hideout. Only problem is, I can never remember his stupid codes. It might seem like an ordinary tree, but really it's our secret hideout. I helped Hans make it, but it was his idea. Now it's basically our home and my favorite place to be. Climbing trees, that's for kids. I'm a sensible scientist girl, so I have to act like one. Darn bees trying to move into our tree house. You're not welcome here. Eh, I can't reach that from where I am now. Oh, that path leads to the lake, where Yorinda says she saw the amber orb. I'm tempted to go see if it is really there, but I'll go see Hans about it before I go all the way out there. Geez, these guys are a couple of neat freaks. Everything's so tidy. Eh, it's only a bunch of neatly stacked books. So tempting to mess it all up. Ah, I wouldn't do that to Yorinda or Hans, though. I'm not taking any of the work with... Geez, these guys are a... Hey, Mother. Winfrieda, please. Don't even think. Hmm. This isn't so easy to get, you know. I need to hold on to it for him. That doesn't need any. I'm not sure what good. Trade you this for some berries? No! You're just trying to trick me! I'm not falling for that! I'm not sure what good that. Trade you this for some berries? No! Eh, I can't re. Climbing trees. I'm a sensible scientist. Something scribbled here with my name on it. it just says left, right, right, middle, left, right, left. Hmm.
There we are. About time. Uh, Hans? Hello? Winnie! Oh, <laughs> sorry. I didn't hear you come in, but I I'm glad you're finally here. Yeah, well, if it wasn't for your dang door code, what's got you all excited, huh? You'll never believe what I found. Oh, I, 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 I barely believe it myself. Last night, by the orphanage, I heard two travelers talking about something. They said it was the scientific discovery of the century. Well, what was it? Winnie, they found it. They found just what we've been looking for. It's called telekinesis. I'm not following. What's telekinesis? Telekinesis. Y yes. Well, I wasn't so sure myself, but I went on to describe how this man could move things just by thinking about it. So, he was actually a witch then? No. No, Winnie, that's the thing. He was just a regular farmer. And that's not all. He, he, he could, could read people's thoughts and feelings, their memories. The townsfolk accused him of being a witch, what with the fear of witchcraft spreading and all. But apparently, he knew nothing about witchcraft. He just sensed his abilities. Okay, that's nice for him. But I still don't see why you're all excited. Right, yes. Well, I did some research after hearing this. And it's just like I thought. All the things that were said about this man's abilities. It's just like the third eye chakra spells. Third eye? Isn't that the subject we had a few weeks ago in class? Exactly. Don't you see? It's what we've been looking for. It's a connection between science and witchcraft, Winnie. You mean, this would show Mother once and for all that science is important? Exactly. Just think of the possibilities, too. The discoveries we could make with this. Hold on. If this is what the third eye thing can do, then my test, I could pass it easily. Well, sh 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 sure. But not just that. If we can learn more about what telekinesis is, then we can help people understand magic through science. People won't have to be afraid of us anymore. This is it. This could be what finally helps me beat Yannicka once and for all. Oh, but Winnie, I think p p p perhaps we should concentrate on... Right. What do we do now? Can we get it? This telekinesis? Telekinesis. Right, right, whatever. How do we get it? What do we do? Well, maybe, but perhaps we shouldn't rush into this. Rush? Hans, the Wanderer's Test is any day now. Mother was just lecturing me about it. If I get this telenemimus, if I use it to pass this test, my weird will be perfect. Mother won't have to scold me or tell me off anymore. Right. That is true. And maybe finally, finally, Mother will stop comparing me. I'll never have to be told I'm not as good as precious little Yannicka ever again. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Winnie. Let's do it. Let's help you pass that test. So, details, details. How are we going to do this? Do you remember anything about the third eye spells? I, uh, might not have been paying too much attention in class. Ah, uh, yes, I looked over my notes last night. We were never taught any direct awakening spells, but there's one incantation Mrs. Vogt recited from her spell book that kind of fits. Okay, great. What is it? it? It's an incantation to summon the goddess Minerva for extrasensory insight and knowledge. You imbue magic beads with the spell, then place them on your head to help open your third eye. But Winnie, you know that Mrs. Volk's spell book is strictly off limits to us. And you know it wouldn't be the first time I've borrowed it either. All right, so first we need a plan for swiping the spell book again. What else? Well, from what I remember, the beads are okay. I have some left over from class. But we also need three candles. One of white, one of purple, and one of b b blue. Hmm. That could be tricky. I don't think there's any left in the school. We, we could make them, though. We can? All right, great. Swipe spell book. Make candles. Easy. Let's get cracking, then. 
Where's this telekinesis guy gone? Let's go find him. Surely he could just tell me how to pass my test if he wants to help people, right? Actually, that was kind of my first thought, too. That's why I'm fixing this machine. The idea is that it reads patterns of energy moving in the brain when you wear it. So if we observe this man's brain patterns, then perhaps we could even replicate them. Yes, that sounds great. Let's do it. Um, but I, I'm i not so sure. It might take time, Winnie. This machine still needs a lot of work. And the man, he went into hiding. What? Why? To avoid punishment. These townspeople, they're really serious about putting an end to witchcraft. Ugh, oh, darn people. Always getting so worked up about stuff they don't know anything about. Yes, well, well, that's why they get worked up, Winnie. We just have to be patient. Find ways to help them understand, you know? Yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever you say. What do we need for candle making, then? Uh, well... I know it's possible. I just don't know how. Yannicka's the one who told me about it. Maybe you can ask her. Oh. Right, of course she did. Ugh. But I do know how to make dyes. So if we can make candles, I can help color them. As long as it's the right color, it can be flowers, plants, stuff like that. I have a book on biology around here that might help you. Hmm. And we need white, purple, and blue. Keep your eyes open, and if you see anything, bring it to me, and I'll take care of the dye. By the way, Mother said you have to go see her about your test. Oh, right. <sighs> I still need to pass the smoke appearance module. Smoke appearance? Oh, is that for your elective? Yeah. Methods of appearing. The only reason I chose it is because I thought I could fake it with solidified carbon dioxide. Turns out, not so easy to move around or use on my own. Solid carbon... what? Solidified carbon dioxide. It's that smoky stuff behind me there. It's kind of like ice, but dry and much colder. So cold it burns you if you touch it. I figured that out the hard way. But... How's that meant to help you with your smoke appearance? Well, that fog coming off of it? That's sublimation. The ice turning from a solid into a gas. But if you drop the ice into water, then that happens a lot faster and makes a lot more fog. Ah, I see. And then you'd use that to disguise your appearance. Clever, clever. Hmm. Maybe. Not just disguising an appearance but also a disappearance as well. Winnie, what are you planning now? Hans, we'll use this to steal the spell book. It's perfect. If there's as much fog as you say, it should be easy to grab it while Mother is distracted. Sure, but like I said, it's too cold to carry, and we don't have any gloves. And besides, I can't really drop it in water without Mrs. Volk noticing. Right, right, don't worry about all that. I'll find a way I can help while you're doing the test. Leave it to me. I'll figure it out. Right. This incantation isn't, uh, incantating itself. I'm off to get us stuff. Okay then, Winnie. I'll, I'll be here if you need me. This little fellow always comes and keeps us company at the hideout. Apart from me and Hans, he's the only other one that knows where it is. So no telling, got it? Ah, he looks hungry. I better find something for him to eat first. He doesn't like being handled too much when he's hungry. Do you? No, you don't. These look like diagrams for Hans' machine. I can actually kind of follow this. After all the time I've spent watching him tinker with these things, it's not too surprising, I guess. It's good where it is. Ah, yes, well... Looks to me like the gas from that thing is becoming a liquid in that thing. And that thing is... Ah, who am I kidding? Hans is always one step ahead in learning all of this stuff. Who... Who knows what Hans is doing with this experiment here? Best not to touch. These are just different chemicals we keep around for various experiments. It's third eye spell making time, so no experiments today. 
That's Han's most prized possession. A certificate for first place in a science youth fair. It was his first award for science ever. A silly thing for kids in the village, but still, I'm super proud of him. It'll be the first of many, I'm sure. You kidding me? That's like the treehouse treasure. It's not going anywhere. Ouch! Yikes, that's flipping cold! It's part of the machine Hans is working on to copy the old guy's telkinesis. I guess this part has something to do with receiving and calculating what the headgear scans. Things would be easier if we could just find him and get him to share his ability with us. Hans is working on it, and I don't think he needs my help just yet. A few pretty old tools Hans scavenged from the village. They'll do the job. Nah, I think Hans needs them more than I do. That thing looks particularly complicated. It's part of the machine Hans is working on to copy the old guy's telkinesis. It's the brain, er, uh, scanning, reading thing. Like Hans was saying, things would be easier if we could just find him and get him to share his ability with us. Hans is working on it, and I don't think he needs my help just yet. Darn bees, trying to move into our tree house. You're not welcome here. I'm not sure what good that would do. Mmm, I don't want to get stung. I'm not putting my hand any closer when they're crazy like that. Oh, that path leads to the lake. I'm tempted to go see if it- We'll see how Han's incantation idea goes first. Hey there, Yorinda. About the ant- When you fell in the lake, because you wouldn't tell me, because like everyone else, you think it's too dangerous. Yeah, I bet I'm- You seem kind- I could be wrong. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, actually... Let me see. I bet it's... It's... Hmm... Ah, wait! You wouldn't be the kind to fall for the popular boys. Interest... Oh, well. Hans manages to find bunches of new ones every week from the village. I try and keep up with him, but geez, he can read books way bigger than I can. Let's see. Hans' books are pretty complex. Usually I can find a good one though. There's Euclidean works in space and number theory. Charles Babbage and the Turing equivalent. Yeah. Oh, this must be the biology book Hans mentioned. Biology for beginners. According to Hans, I should be able to make colored dyes from plants and stuff. Oh, the blue cornflower. I'm sure I've seen this somewhere. It's perfect. It says, the cornflower is oft worn by young men in love as symbol of their affections. Hmm, where did I see it? Two brothers. This one's playing the I'm he's been trying for Ah! But that's where I saw the cornflower after all. Aha! Hey Jacob. <sighs> what now, Winnie? I think I know the real reason you have that flower on. Something about oh a symbol of affection? Hmm? What? I mean, uh, no. No. Hmm. I wonder who you might be showing affection to then. Winnie! Shh! <laughs> well, tell you what. Give me some of those flowers and I'll keep as quiet as you want. But I've tried everything else. This is the last thing I have to show my love. Ah, uh, yuck. Well, what else did you try then? Everything. I passed on so many messages to her in class. But alas, my poetry has fallen on deaf ears. My words yet to be consumed. My love as yet unrequited. All right, all right, enough. 
That does seem odd, though. Yannicka isn't the type to just ignore someone completely. Come on, just give me some flowers already, Jacob. But I've tried everything. Uh, yeah. Everything. My co- All right, Yannicka is- I forget- Jacob is so messy. What a grub. Yannicka, on the other hand, typically perfect and neat. What a suck up. Right. Love letter, love letter. Should be in here somewhere. It's all just rubbish. Wait, huh? Is this it? Aha, it is. What a dork. He wrote it on a napkin of all things. Yannicka didn't know to look for it. She probably just figured it was rubbish says, to my dearest buttercup, the brightest of diamonds, roses are red, violets are blue. I like you. Do you like me too? Signed, Jacob. Wow. Never have more heartfelt words been put to paper. Eh, maybe Jacob won't be too impressed by that. Better show it to him first. Hey, lover boy. Winnie. Settle down. I have good news for you. Kind of. Your so-called poetry wasn't ignored. It just looked like rubbish. You mean, Yannicka hasn't even read it yet? But of course, it all makes sense now. My words of pure, raw feeling. She couldn't possibly have read them without any emotional reaction. Oh, I'm sure they'll get a reaction, all right. Maybe not the one you're after, though. Here. I have no need for this nonsensical symbol when I have poetry on my side. But, uh, Winnie, could you do me the favor of passing on my letter to Yannicka? A true poet should never show his own hand to the... Yes, yes. Please just... Enough already with the drama. Wow. Whatever could this be? I seem to have found it lying around. Could this be for you, Yannicka? Oh, for me? This is so thoughtful. This is just what I wanted to see. Really? Oh, be still, my beating heart. The moment has come for my majestic words to... <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks a heap, Winnie. That feels better. Oh, no. Don't mention it, Yannicka. My pleasure. Here for the blue dye. Will this be all right? I don't need all these flowers. I'll just take enough for the dye. Well, let's see then. That means we still need something to make candles out of, something to make the wicks out of for the candles, something to make p p p purple dye, something to make w white dye to somehow steal Mrs. Vogt's spell book. And then that should do it. Ah, still so much left. Don't worry, Winnie. You're doing well. You can do it. Hmm. I don't think that will... Now it's all filled with gas from the dry ice. Stuff is gross enough without Uh hi Winnie. So I heard you know how to make candles. Oh yes. I wrote an essay for mother on it last semester. Uh of course you did. Do, do you think you could tell me how to make them, maybe? What was that, Winnie? Can you tell me how to make some dumb candles? 
Or not. Whatever. I don't care. Oh, sure thing. I'd be happy to. Well, really, all you need is some wax. Either paraffin or beeswax or something like that. Ah. Uh, hold on. Aren't the crayons from school made from paraffin? I... I kind of fed them to the baby dragon. I don't know. He seemed to like them. Aw, how cute. Well, if you do happen to find some wax, then you just mold the wax around a wick and you're done. Wicks can be anything. A piece of string or rope or something like that. Then you can just dip them into various dyes to change the candle's color if you want to. Uh-huh. Wax, wick, dyes. Easy. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. Anytime, Winnie. I'm glad I could help. Say, Yannicka. You haven't seen any letters around in class, have you? Huh? Letters? I don't think so, no. I'm not sure Mother would approve of notes being handed around in class, though. Typical. That's interesting, though. That means you haven't even seen them. Seen what? Uh... Oh, okay. Have a look at this, Hans. These wax. Yannicka said we can use this for candle making. Oh, great. I I hope you didn't hurt yourself getting it down. Nope. I'm way too super clever for that. <laughs> well, I only need the wax inside. Do you mind t t t t taking the husk for me? That means we just need a wick to make the candles now. Nice work, Winnie. Let's see then. That means we still need something to make the something to make something to some and then. All right, we're getting there now. Hans is working on it, and I don't think he needs my help just yet. All right, Yoringel. You want to show your affections to someone, right? No. Well, y yes. And you don't know how to express it in words, right? So what if I don't? Well, these flowers are special in that they express your affection for you. You don't have to say a word. Think of it like a sign that says, Hey, I like you. Re really This isn't a trick, is it? This is some kind of trick, Winnie. For crying out loud. Do you want to have this or not? Uh, give me it. Uh, please. Please give me one. So, uh, you going to put it on, or? Y yeah, of course. I, I just... Go away, you're making me nervous. All right, lover boy. Jeez, so grateful. I'm done with that for now. Ugh, kinda hungry. Must resist eating. What's he even doing? I guess eventually someone will say something. Maybe. I think I'll leave him now to his, uh, expression of affection. And drink leaf water? No, thank you. The 
beehive is hollow now after Hans took out the wax. All that's left is a kind of a hard resin shell. Hmm, I wonder. He does keep hitting himself, and this would be hard enough to protect his head. Hey, Wilhelm, sup, Win? Think I could trade you this for your yo-yo? <laughs> Get out. What do I want with some stinking beehive? Beehive? Huh? No, this is a helmet. Don't you see? See, there's the, uh, eye hole. One? <laughs> Hello, Winnie. I have two eyes. It's, uh, it's better for your perception that way, or something, and cooler, so you'll look super cool, and you'll be protected from your yo-yo. Super cool, you say? All I want is to borrow your yo-yo, just for a little bit. Mm, all right, if you say so, but you better give it straight back, yeah? Yeah, Psh. of course. <laughs> How is it? Super cool? I look cool, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. The coolest. Yeah, sweet. Ha, huh. who's the tough guy now, Wilhelm? Wait, tough girl? No, but then he... Eh, uh, who cares? I have his yo-yo. Hey, Hans, will the string on this work for the candle wick? That's great, Winnie. Nice work. Let's see, then. That means we something to make something to sign it. Getting close? <laughs> we will. That's the spirit, Winnie. Uh, I'm not sure. But would this work for a white candle? Chalk? Yeah. Yeah, th th that, that. Let's see, then. Something to sign it. There's too much. Hans, I think I got something good for purple dye. Definitely. This is great, Winnie. Let's see then. That means we still need to somehow steal Mrs. Vogt's spell book. And then that should do it. You're so close, Hans. Just one last thing. You really have done so well, you know. Thank you, Winnie. Oh, excuse you. I think he's in a good place now. I'll leave him be. Alright, time to get rid of that fiery breath before you get a belly ache. Winnie, don't take him away for too long. You know the red dragon gets agitated when the baby's away from her. I know, I know. Jeez, you sound like mother. Hey, sorry. Just careful with the little guy, okay? This little fellow always comes and keeps us company at the hideout. Apart from me and Hans, he's the only other... Here we go. Let's get all that nasty fire breath out now. There you go. Get it all out. Is that really necessary, Winfrieda? It's already getting too hot in here. Weren't you the one saying it was a little chilly before? Well, fine. But at least open some windows to keep the room from becoming a furnace, please.
Let's get you back to the hideout before Hans gets upset with us. There, safe and sound. And free to leave, little guy. Uh, or not. As you please. Hey, Hans. Oh, hey, hey, Winnie. What's up? Hey, I can help you with your test through the window. All sneaky like. Let's go practice your test. Oh, okay. So you have something ready to, to help me? Uh, sure. Sure. All right then, Hans. Whenever you're ready. Um, uh, um, uh. Disappear us? D disappear me? Oh, hmm. Wait. Not from here. It's too far v away. Fi. Uh, wait, wait. Hans, are you sure you're ready to practice? Uh, well, no. I'm, I'm afraid not, Mrs. Vogt. I'm sorry. Never mind, Hans. Come back when you feel more ready, okay? Sorry, Hans. Guess I'm not much help after all. Oh, don't worry, Winnie. We'll we'll get it next time. Oh, I finally did it. I'm in the shed. Hmm. This isn't as cool as I thought it would be. Less shiny, interesting toys, more dust and rusty tools. Ah, gardening gloves. Quite a bit larger than my hands, but they'll do. Oh, at least there's some gloves we need. Got something for my troubles. Hey, Hans. Ooh. Hey, let's go practice your test. Oh. Uh, sure. All right then, Hans. Whenever you're ready. Um, uh, um, uh. Okay, moment of truth. Hope my aim is good. Oh my. W what? What was that? That was quite an unusual method, but quite effective, I must admit. How did you do that? Science! Uh... uh science! Tell her it was science! It, it was just... To, to just practice, Mrs. Vogt, like you said. What? Well done, Hans. You have indeed passed. You should be proud. Heck, Hans. Oh, hi, Winnie. That worked wonderfully. With the tea being hot, the sublimation happened even quicker than I calculated. Why didn't you just tell her how you did it? She's always telling us we're wasting our time, putting us in detention. Just when she was impressed, we could have shown her she's wrong. I, I got the spell book, though, Winnie. Isn't that enough? Um, no. She, she has to know. She can't always bully us around. She does care about you, Winnie. What about you? This stuff in here you've made? This isn't a waste. This has potential. It... It has things even witches can use. And learn from, too. But it... It was a test for witchcraft. I... I... Would have failed. And not just that, Winnie. Mrs. Volk's whole life is dedicated to witchcraft. And people need time to accept changes like that. Don't you see? No, I don't see. Your experiments deserve attention. Not like this, okay? If we want other people to be patient and understanding, then we need to be patient and understanding too. Okay, Winnie? Ah, uh, fine. For now. They'll see eventually. But, but good work. On getting the book and stuff. <laughs> You too, Winnie. We made quite a team, huh? Uh, sure. Whatever. I'm going to go find stuff. But, but, but Winnie, wait. That means 
Now we have everything. We have it all now. Wait, you mean the incantation? Let's do it. Then the candles go here and here. Right, that's good. Okay, good. Now just read from this bit here, Winnie. Me? Why me? You say it. Winnie. All right, fine. Give it here. <clears throat> oh, great and all-knowing goddess, come to me. Here is the place and time for thee. I wish to open the eye of three. Oh, great and powerful Minerva, allow me to see. That's it, Winnie. It's working. Uh, g gift me with your sight and awareness. Open to me my knowing within. Make others' thoughts clear. So it is plain what is mine and what is theirs. So, so mote it be. Enough. You who will toy with the spirit. You who brings suffering and pain. Me? Suffering and pain? Audi alter partem. The path is already writ. The girl with the third eye watches, but it is too late. Too late. Third eye? What girl? Me? Not for you. Never for you. The stones will not work. Only for her. Where the girl's eyes are open, yours are forever closed. On my test! I need them! Your soul too far corrupted. The third eye girl will empower the dark. You should never have sought to steal her spirit. Steal the spirit? N no, my machine. The devil's hand closes in to beget a life of evil. Wha what are you talking about? Hans, what is she talking about? Winnie. So much hate. So much sorrow. So much death. No, stop! P -p -p please Life will be gone. She cannot rejuvenate. Only understand. The word is irrevocably woven, but the pattern is incomplete. Wait, weird? Already woven? Now, in the falling of dusk, the owl of Minerva spreads its wings. Late as it may be, seek the third eye girl who intends to remove you. Remove me? A girl removing me? Janneke! Reject her hand and there is no hope for you. Take her hand. Take it. Let it end. Let it end. Let it end. Huh? I, I don't understand. My third eye can't be opened? Winnie, this is bad. I know it's bad. My test. No, Winnie. If I can't get this telekinesis, then, then, then what am I going to do now? Maybe, maybe we should stop now, Winnie. Yes, that's it. That's what I have to do. We should have done it from the beginning. Wait, you, you don't mean. I have to get it. I have to get the Amber Orb. Winnie, no! The Vice of Frauen! Nonsense. I'm not failing this. I'm going to prove them all wrong. Mother, Yannicka, all of them. W Winnie, if something happens to you... Don't you see? I'm out of time. This, this is our weird we're talking about. This is my life. I don't want to have a bad fate given to me, Hans. I, I know, Winnie. I'm, I'm just saying that... If something happens to you... It has to be her. She's the only one who has seen it. If she won't tell me where it is, then I'll just... I'll make her show me. But if something happens to you, Winnie, then I'll be... be, be all alone again.
Hey, Yannicka. Hi, Winnie. What can I help you with? Uh, never mind. I'm leaving. Oh, okay, Winnie. See you later then. Oh, that path leads to the lake where Yorinda says she saw the amber orb. I'm tempted to go see if it's not without her. All right, Yorinda, no more of this not talking game. Tell me where you saw the amber orb. Look, I know you told mother about it, okay? I saw it myself. In the classroom, she asked you what happened when you fell in the lake. So, you wrote about it. You wrote it down. You wrote about seeing the orb. Everyone saw the note, so there's no use lying about it. Dorinda, I've helped you with your silly boyfriend. So, so now it's your turn to do something for me. I need this. If I don't get that orb, I'm gonna fail my test. Don't you get it? Aren't you my friend, Yorinda? Good. Then let's go already. And with the dusk, the time for a new beginning arrives. What do you think, Hans? Isn't it beautiful? How fortuitous it is. Of all the moments for the Protector to neglect its duty in the search of its infant, I wonder, will the girl from the West Woods watch over this very moment? <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps. What does it matter? By then I would have had my fun. Irinda, what are you doing? Is this it? Is this the spot? Oh, hello there, young one. Say, you don't suppose you could help an old man, could you? I'm ever so thirsty, but these waters don't appear to be... safe. Huh? Thirsty? I don't have time for... Wait. This jacket. Whose is this? Whose jacket is this? You children, you don't listen, do you? I also told him about these waters. But you people don't listen. Him? He... No. I told the boy it wasn't safe. But he jumped in anyway. No! Hans? Hans! Winfrieda, what is the meaning of this? I... I... Hans! You... you wicked child! You sent him in for the orb? No! No! He... he was just a boy. But you sent him anyway. For what? No! It's not like that! Hans! I... I... Where your sister has succeeded, you have failed. It was a test of moral, Winfrieda. A mere test of moral. Why, Winfrieda? But... No, wait! And so, the word is seen clearly by all, and I shall now decree its path. Yon Yannake, on you the norms weave eternal, youthful beauty, a fate of wealth and the king's hand in marriage. No! No! But for you, Winfrieda, you, the norms weave differently. You shall be cursed with an appearance to match your cold, ugly heart. No! M mother please! Bitter and alone as you may be, the world will see you as you are. No! It's not true! Yorinda, tell them! Yorinda, help me! M mother Mother, please! I... I'm sorry, Winfrieda. This... I tried to make it right for you, but this... This is now the will of the Norns. But, Mother... Mama... Please... Winfrieda... Be gone with you, child. No... No! I'm so 
so sorry, Winfrieda. No, you, you, no. I'll get you back for this. I'll, 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 I'll get you all. And so it was that the girl alone had done the impossible, and gave forgiveness where all others gave none. But try as she might to reconcile wrongs of the past, the hour was late, and the witch's hurt grown too deep and dark. Regardless, the girl of the West Woods had brought peace once more, and the people celebrated and rejoiced. Despite all the riches and rewards offered, the girl wanted but one and made her farewells. For no matter what might have passed, what travels and trials succeeded, it was all for a cause not forgot. And so we shall always remember the courage of that girl and the strength in the innocent of heart.